the world's richest casino owners. Hello and welcome back to another video here on Mini Luxury. Ever wondered who owns the biggest casinos in the world? Well, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the world's richest casino owners. Stay tuned and watch. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Let's begin. Donald Trump Donald J. Trump, the former president of the United States, began his career as a business magnate in 1971 when he took over his family's real estate company. The Trump Organization, as it was then known, quickly expanded into skyscraper, hotel, casino, and golf course construction and renovation. Trump also owned the Miss Universe and Miss USA pageants and hosted The Apprentice a reality television game show from 2005 to 2013. Trump Entertainment Resorts, Inc. is the company's parent company. Trump owns Trump Plaza, Trump's Castle, and Trump's Taj Mahal, as well as Riverboat Emporium. The company now only owns the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. Due to bad debt and financing issues, Trump is reportedly worth $7 billion today. Steve Wynn Steve Wynn is the richest casino owner in Las Vegas, as well as the man who started the trend that turned Sin City into the flashing neon-lit adult playground it is today. The Mirage, the first themed casino, was built by Steve in 1989. It was the most expensive casino built at the time, costing $630 million. Treasure Island and Core Win, Bellagio Casino Hotels and the Golden Nugget were among his other well-known Las Vegas casinos. Steve's other great passion is fine art, and his prized collection includes works by Van Gogh, Suzanne, and Gauguin, among others. Steve Wynn reportedly has a net worth of 3.4 billion US dollars as of 2021. Kunio Buzuchima in Japan, Kunio Buzuchima is the chairman and founder of Sankyo Manufacturing. Despite the fact that gambling is illegal in Japan, Kunio makes her list. How? Sankyo is the world's largest manufacturer of pachinko machines, the Japanese equivalent of slot machines and pachinko parlors, which can be found all over Japan, operate similarly to traditional casinos. The pachinko machine is similar to a pinball machine, but it has a vertical layout. Players shoot a small ball down a chute, with prizes awarded as the ball passes through a series of pins and lands in a specific spot. Kunio has a net worth of $4.9 billion as of 2021. James Packer Mariah Carey's ex-fiancé hails from the wonderful and land down under, and is her next ultra-rich entrant. James Packer, who inherited a large sum of money from his father, decided to put it into building a global gambling empire, and boy did it pay off. He currently owns and chairs Crown LTD, one of Australia's largest resort and entertainment conglomerates with a market capitalization of more than $11 billion. He also owns casinos in the United Kingdom, the Canary Casinos in Pennsylvania and Nevada, the Betfair Online Casino in New Jersey, the Crown Casino in Sri Lanka, and shares in the Melco Crown Gaming Group based in Macau. A fun fact about this casino mogul, who is worth $4.1 billion, is that he used to work as a jackaroo on a cattle ranch when he was younger. John Paulson the MGM Mirage owns and operates casinos in Reno, Macau, Detroit, and Mississippi as well as 10 strip resorts. John Paulson is undeniably a master of the stock market. The Harvard-educated entrepreneur specializes in mergers and acquisitions, especially in the casino industry. His most recent investment made through his New York-based hedge fund includes 40 million shares of MGM Mirage and 4 million shares of Boyd Gaming Corporation, making him MGM's second-largest shareholder behind founder Kirk Kerkorian. Lou and John is not busy brokering multi-billion dollar deals, he enjoys giving back to the community and even dabbles in politics. Dr. Lu Chewu Dr. Wu, the 82-year-old chairman of Galaxy Casino, is a relative newcomer to the casino industry. With the opening of the Galaxy Macau Casino Hotel in 2011, he made his mark on the scene. He made his initial fortune in the leisure, entertainment, construction, hotel, and real estate industries. The opulent Galaxy Hotel boasts 2,200 rooms, 50 restaurants, 450 gaming tables, a wave pool, and a man-made beach. 
the multi-billionaire also devotes his time to philanthropic endeavors, particularly those aimed at improving medical care and education. Sheldon Adelson Sheldon Adelson, CEO and chairman of Las Vegas Sands, stands head and shoulders above his peers. To give you an idea of the magnitude of his fortune, Las Vegas Sands earns around $32 million every day, making it worth more than all of the other U.S. casinos combined. Sheldon, who never completed college, became a millionaire for the first time at the age of 30. His first casino purchase was the Sands Hotel and Casino in 1988, and today his holdings include the Venetian, the Marina Bay Casino, the Palacio, the Sands Casino in Pennsylvania, and the Venetian Macau Casino Resort, all of which are among the world's largest and most well-known casinos. Aside from the gambling industry, Sheldon's interests also include philanthropists and political activism. Thanks for watching.